Section 1.2, relations. What is a relation? We'll start with the definition. It's a set of points in the plane. Now, what plane are we talking about? This is a Cartesian plane. And, of course, we sketch out the axis like this, x, y. We're going to use this plane a lot. So this plane we're going to abbreviate as R2, which means the real numbers times the real numbers. You have a real number line, another real number line right here, and so that's why we write real numbers times real numbers. So think of this two-dimensional object, and each one's a real number line. Now, a set of points in the plane. Let's look at some examples I can represent graphically. Maybe we have a point right here. And we'll put a point over here. And we'll just put one more, uh, maybe down here. So here are three points. Is this a relation? It is a set of three points in the plane. OK. Here's graphical representation. How do we represent this in set notation? So we're going to start the same way as before, squiggle brackets. Now we're going to have some points in here. So these are not individual numbers. These are going to be points. And we'll just go left to right, negative 1, 2. That's the first point. The next point, zero, uh, 1, 0. And the last point will be 3, negative 2. So this is the same relation as this, just represented in set notation and on a graph. Now, there are other ways to represent this as well. We can use uh, interval notation. You want to be careful with intervals because intervals can look just like points. You have to know what you're looking at. So if we want to use some interval notation, let's draw out a set first. And then we'll see how to describe it in interval notation. So I'm going to draw a rectangle here. Just covered up my two. I'm going to do something on the uh, right side. I'm going to make that a dotted line and not including those two uh, points. So I want everything in here. So how do we describe this? Well, we can use inequalities. X needs to be between negative one and three, and Y needs to be between two and four. So if I go set builder, I could write x comma y such that we'll go x is first, x between negative 1, 3. We're not allowed to equal 3. I did a dotted line there. So we want just less than 3. And we'll use a comma for and 2 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 4. So there's set builder notation for this. Now there are other ways to describe it in addition to set builder notation. And how do they look? We're going to use uh, interval notation as well. In our interval notation, we can write negative 1 to 3 as our x uh, interval. We're going to go open at 3, close at negative 1, times 2 to 4. Now this is a little bit weird to look at right here. This is negative 1 to 3 is the x interval from negative 1 to 3. If I shade it in, it would be shaded from there and open over here. And then the shaded in 2 to 4 interval, 2 to 4, will be shaded in right here. Now when you multiply them together, when you write it times like this, this says the x's are going to be here, the y's are going to be in here. And you'll get the exact same image over here. So it's a little bit strange, but you can describe it with two intervals multiplied together.